therapists, staff, family and friends. And earlier this year, I was delighted to take over as head of school of politics and international relations. As head of school, I am deeply honored to present today's event. We are here to celebrate the achievements of the politics class of 2021. This class is particularly deserving, having completed your degrees during these extremely challenging and unusual times. All of us within the School of Politics and International Relations have been left awestruck by how each of you has overcome the obstacles of studying in the middle of a global pandemic and how well you all have done. Today will be a chance to not only reflect on your time at the University of Kent, but also a chance to look to the future as you prepare for the next chapters in your lives. Each of you should feel so proud of everything you have accomplished during your time here at Kent. I am especially proud of our students graduating from the School of Politics and International Relations. Not just because this is the school um, that I know and love, but because our students genuinely leave us to make the world a better place, and I know you will too. I feel most graduation speeches include some kind of inspiring quote. So I will quote the American poet Amanda Gorman, a great inspiration to me personally and amazing activist on issues um, of social justice, race, equality, feminism, and marginalization. Amanda Gorman is the first ever National Youth um, Poet Laureate in the US, whom you will all know from the delivery of her poem, The Hill We Climb, um, at the inauguration of President Joe Biden in January this year. In another of her poems, uh, Believers Hymn for the Republic, Amanda Gorman says, every day we write the future. Together, we sign it. Together, we declare it. We share it, for this truth marches on inside each of us. We know that as you leave us at Kent, each and every one of you will write the future in so many different ways and have an impact for the good on the world around you. And that after three years with us, you have gained the knowledge, understanding and skills to help you in this. You know, we'll, we know you will go on to do great things. Those of us who work in the school never cease to be amazed and inspired by your enthusiasm, your commitment and your resilience. We have never been more aware of this than in the last 16 months of this global pandemic, when you have had to grapple with so much dis disruption and so much uncertainty. You have been an inspiration to all of us. We have sincerely missed being able to experience your enthusiasm and energy in person. We are so proud of all that you have accomplished, um, particularly within the virtual classrooms, in diverse places such as your kitchens, bedrooms, and sometimes even the library. Now, let's hear from some, some of the staff who are set to see you go. It was an absolute pleasure to be your seminar leader. You were all inspirational, hardworking and dedicated, despite it being a very hard year. So as you leave the university, I hope you find ways to shine your light. Congratulations and all the best. Congratulations to all the politics and liberal arts graduates of 2021, wishing you all the best for the future. Hello, hi everyone. I'm sorry I can't be with you to celebrate your graduation. You've done really well this year. You know, it's been very, very difficult and uh, you, know, you really pull it off. So many congratulations and uh, all the best for your future. Hi everyone, congratulations on your graduations. Well done. Um, you guys were a joy to teach and I wish you all the best for your future. Uh, go do great things. Hi there, just uh, just styling in to say congratulations on your uh, graduation. Uh, a really good effort under, you know, extraordinary circumstances to bring this home and to graduate this year is uh, is uh, is a really good effort on your on your behalf. Really looking forward to seeing what you all get up to, and please do stay in contact with the university and the school. Uh, so good good on you and uh, and good luck. 
Hi everyone, this is Julia. Congrats on your graduation today. This hasn't been an easy year, I know, but you managed to go through it all and uh, you should be really proud of your achievements and really proud of yourself. Many congratulations again and all the very best for your future, guys. I congratulate you enormously on your achievement of having uh, come to the point of graduation after such a difficult, turbulent time. I just want to stress that I hope you'll stay in touch with the University of Kent. We've got an active alumni association which meets uh, not just uh, in Kent but in other places uh, on, a f on a regular basis. So do stay in touch. I wish you success using your University of Kent degree. Bye. I'm going to hand over now to Dr. Jane Omani, our Director of Education for all our undergraduate programs in politics and international relations. Indeed, sad to see you go, as you've been the heart of our community for the last few years and have made this place what it is. But I guess we have the same kind of mixed feelings that your family had when the time came for you to leave for university um, a few years ago. It's hard for us to see you go, but at the same time, we know that now is the time for you to open the door um, to the next chapter in your lives. And our goodbye is mixed with an enormous amount of pride in what you have accomplished to get to the point that it's time to say goodbye. And you have accomplished so much, more than you probably even realize. You've been slowly but surely developing a skill set over these last years that goes beyond the specific content of your modules and program of study. Um, you've been, these are the skills that are going to help you meet your post-university goals, whatever they are. Studying politics and international relations is a broad church. What do I mean by this? At Kent, we pride ourselves on offering a wide range of modules and subjects as we can for our students to study. This means as you have progressed through your undergraduate studies with us, you have been able to choose the areas of study that excited and inspired you. In a way, each of your programmes of study was unique just to you. And it's so much easier to develop these important transferable skills when you learn them in a specific context that you find interesting and motivating. And for us, we have seen this in all of the fantastic work you have produced for us in many different ways during your time at Kent. We also have learned from you and we have learned so much from you as we have navigated these turbulent times in world politics in the last few years together. Thank you for sharing this key time in your lives with us and giving us the opportunity and to, to understand and analyse these challenges with you. Now, having said that, let's take a look at those that will be shaping all of our futures, the class of 2021.
congratulations one and all. I will now hand over to Dr. Jana Voller, who convenes our modules on terrorism and political violence and politics of the Middle East, whom many of you will know. We'd like to take the opportunity to further congratulate some of this cohort's prize winners, whose efforts have earned them um, some, impressive, uh, some impressive awards. So we are delighted to announce the Colin Seymour U Prize for Best Dissertation in Stage 3. Students in this module did so well this year, um, and it is being awarded to three students, Sarai Osman, Kester Rothcliffe, and Ruth Agui, who all achieved the outstanding marks of 85 for their dissertations. Ah, well done. The Maurice Weil Prize for Best Performance on Stage 3 Final Year Program, with a degree average of 78%, this goes to Ruth Agui. <laughs> the David Nunnelly Prize for their contribution to the student experience in the school. This year, we are awarding the David Nunnelly Prize not to an individual, uh, but to our student society, the Politics and International Relations Society, and in particular the leadership team, including Tommaso Israeli, um, Deborah Makassi, and Savannah Allen. The Polaran Society organized so many exciting events for us, um, all of this year, uh, of both a current affairs and social nature, including giving us the opportunity to hear and speak with um, Kent Graduate and First Minister of Wales, and a Kent graduate, Mark Drexford, and MP Jess Phillips. They also worked closely with um, Niall and Fry and Amy Dimock from our employability and student experience teams on our employability events. <laughs> the, School of, the School of Politics and International Relations Special Achievement Prize for outstanding performance in the face of adversity this year is awarded to Faye Olubajo. <laughs> we would also like to thank our Paul IR student, uh, student representatives for ensuring that we heard your voices as much as possible throughout your years of study, and our student ambassadors for representing the school and university in many events. A big well done to our prize winners. And now we're going to hear from one of those prize winners reflecting on their time um, uh, um, here. So uh, let's, let's head over to them. My fellow students, I would like to congratulate you all on finishing our final year. And I think I say this when I speak for all of us that simply put, 2020 and 2021 sucked. Yet we completed our degrees with incredible tenacity, diligence, and considerable kindness. I say kindness because for many reasons, this year required us all to show some more empathy towards others, towards our community when we were in lockdowns or towards our peers when they couldn't get a stable internet connection going in teams or towards our lecturers, seminar leaders, student support and other staff when they were working from home. In this way, the challenging times we endured as a student community only strengthened us from organizing online Zoom socials in societies or rallying together in protest in Canterbury itself. Nonetheless, there are some things about Kent that can only be experienced and enjoyed in person. So for example, the bunnies on the campus lawn or those very dangerous thieving seagulls that wait in front of Templeman to steal someone's sandwich. These are just some of the things that I'll miss about Kent. It feels very surreal, for me at least, to say goodbye to such an important chapter in my life without the fanfare of a proper graduation. And I imagine it's the same for you. But this university has shaped me into who I am today, from the challenging classes that I took in first, second, and third year, or um, going on a year abroad to Prague, writing my dissertation with Jane, at the societies I participated in, and the friends I made, of course. And for that, I am eternally grateful. Thank you. Uh, 
Um, now, a big shout out to all of you watching from the comfort of your sofas. And we've heard uh, from some of you via our live streams, and I'm going to read out some of your messages. Thank you so much for tuning in. So uh, one of our lecturers, Ben Turner, who many of you will know, um, says congratulations, everyone. And another one of our lecturers, uh, Raluca Pop, uh, also says many, many congratulations. Um, Martina joins us from Italy today, where I know it's much warmer than it is here in Canterbury. Um, and Hamish and Charlie are joining uh, from London, and Charlene is joining as well from France. Amy says congratulations to all of our wonderful students and prize winners. You've all worked so hard. Um, David says, well done, and we've made it. Um, it was so lovely to see and share together. Um, Charlie loved the public speaker um, series as well. Uh, when David and received, sorry, I should say, a good grilling from academics. Um, Maria says, thank you so much for your messages and kind words, and good luck for the future all. So thank you all very much uh, for tuning in. We're delighted that you've tuned in today. So I will hand over now to Nadine. Yeah, thank you so much um, for your comments and for tuning in. Hopefully we will be able to see you in person in the not too distant future, especially at our congregations at the cathedral next year. What a three years it has been, with plenty of memories made along the way. Here's a snapshot of what you all got up to during your time here at Kent. Amazing memories from an amazing year group. Congratulations, everyone. We are all very proud of you. Please register your de details online to be a Kent alumni. Uh, we organize pub nights to meet up with other Kent graduates in your area, and you will receive our termly alumni magazine. 
Don't forget the Careers and Employability Service at Kent supports students for up to three years after graduation. You need to register your personal email with the Careers Service to access um, their services, including online appointments, online events and the Jobs Board. And follow us on LinkedIn and our other social media to keep up with what's going on in the school. All that leaves me now to say um, is to wish you all the very best with your futures and you will forever be part of our Kent family. Goodbye and congratulations.